In this video, I'm going to show you how to print beautiful monochrome prints using Epson's fantastic monochrome rip that's built into the printer software. Now, this only applies to certain Epson printers and basically those that have three blacks included in the ink set, often referred to as the K3 ink set. In this case, printers like the P800, P600, 3880, 3800 and the larger format printers. But firstly, let's have a look at what makes a great monochrome print. And here we can see we've got this wonderful character photograph of a chimpanzee. And monochrome is all about line, shape, texture. And this has it in spades. But let's have a look at a couple of other examples. This image of a female gorilla taken at Sydney's Taronga Zoo was all about the lighting. And if we looked at how the image looked without the adjustments, it was pretty bland. But turning it into monochrome makes a massive difference. Same thing goes for this street scene taken in Hungary. If we look at the original colour image, it's not very interesting, but by converting it to a monochrome, we've brought out all those wonderful lines and textures in the photograph that make it more outstanding. And the same thing can be said of things like uh, some landscape scenes, colour is okay, monochrome makes it stand out a little bit better and this image here of some trees in Tasmania also works as a monochrome image. But for printing let's go back and have a look at our first one of the chimpanzee. Now if you haven't already looked at our other two videos on printing, getting images set up and the workflow for printing, you will need to have a look at that and see about how we set our image size and DPI for printing. Basically we go through to the image size menu and set the output size that we want and in the, in the case of an Epson printer we want to print at 360 pixels per inch and once we've done that we would then go through and apply the sharpening that's explained in part two of our printing workflow. Uh, obviously you don't need to add any colour saturation in this case for printing on matte papers but we do apply a little bit of extra crunching of the blacks to really bring out the details. So let's move over now and have a look at the printer software and how that works. So if you've looked at our part 2 video on colour printing and the workflow we use for that you'll remember that we used Photoshop to manage the colours for printing. But when we're printing monochrome, we do things a little bit differently. And we let the printer manage the colours, or in this case, monochrome printing. And this is how we do it. We've already set our image size, our sharpening. And let's go to the print menu. And we've opened up the print menu dialog box. And you'll see here that we've changed it to printer manages colours. Because when we go to the print settings, which is the, where we do all the magic, what we do instead of printing in colour, which is our normal option, where we would determine the colour the quality options and the colour mode, which in the case of Photoshop managing colours is no colour adjustment, we do things differently. We go down to the advanced black and white photo option, we still choose our quality options, which would be to max out the quality, high speed, indicates that we use the bi-directional printing mode of the printer in which case each time the head passes over the paper it's putting ink on the paper if we turn that off the head only squirts print when it's traveling in one direction so we want to speed that up and we want the finest detail so that's exactly the same as for color printing but here we have with the advanced black and white photo option chosen we have a mode here called neutral and we have a button for the advanced options and this button opens up some further options in the black and white printer rip and you'll see here that we no longer have a preview of how our image is going to look because this uses a preset uh, series of numbers and we have here a couple of options we can print as a neutral black and white print which is what most people would do you can print with a cooler color tone and you'll see here in the preview that it's got like a selenium tone uh, you can go for a warm tone 
like some of the old beautiful um, egg for papers we used to use in the dark room and then you can go to sepia which is a little bit overdone but even with that setting you can see here's the preview and we've got the color wheel here we can just simply drag that back and say well I don't actually want it that sepia I can come back to something a little more neutral in this case we're going to go to a neutral color and the default setting is darker you will find that maybe that could be a little bit too dark for your printing but certainly either dark or darker is the the tone method you want to give those rich blacks with that all selected click OK we've returned back to our uh, print menu and of course in this case we're still printing with um, the Canson rag photographic paper which is uh, a match for velvet fine art paper in the Epson printing mode and we've got the setup here so we're ready to go and here is our print setting and the printer manages the colors all we need to do now is select print and we start to print our image and here we have the finished print as you can see it has beautiful rich blacks neutral tone and a print that you'd be very happy to put on your wall and to have a look at a couple of the other ones we previewed these are prints I made earlier the street scene in Budapest again rendered beautifully in monochrome and another one we didn't look at an old churchyard in northern Iceland again works beautifully in monochrome and finally a street scene or an architectural image from Sydney again rendered beautifully neutrally in monochrome using the Epson monochrome rip as we've outlined in this video. I hope this was helpful. I look forward to seeing you again soon.